a special case of linked genes is that of the sex chromosomes. And these are the X and the Y, at least in humans and other organisms, they, have, uh, they might have different letters such as X and Z or Z and Y. And these chromosomes in most organisms are very different sizes and they might carry different genes as well. And this means that we cannot do reciprocal crosses for these chromosomes. It matters which parent has which trait. So we've said in the past that reciprocal crosses have the same results for traits that follow Mendelian laws. In other words, if we had the female parent have green peas and the male parent have yellow peas, you would have the same probability of offspring having green or yellow peas as if you did the opposite of the reciprocal cross, which is the male, or sorry, the female with the yellow and the male or father with the green. But for any genes on the sex chromosomes or the sex determining chromosomes, this is not the case. So for example, in fruit flies, there is a gene on uh, the, one of the sex chromosomes for red eyes. And you'll see that individuals who are males are more likely to have white eyes. Now, if we start out with the male parent, uh, and they have red eyes, which is the capital R here. And they do not have a gene for eye color. Or they're not, yeah, they don't have a gene, therefore they have no alleles for eye color on the Y chromosome. Because again, if we look back here, you see that the Y chromosome is a lot shorter than the X chromosome, so it's literally missing a lot of the genes that are on the X chromosome. And then we have the female parent here, which has white eyes, and the genotype is homozygous, so two uh, alleles for white eyes, which is recessive. And we get the cross, well, we can tell what the biological sex of the offspring might be and what eye color each biological sex might have. So for female gametes or gametes produced by the female here um, and the male gametes here or gametes produced by the male or the father, the father fly, uh, this is the cross. And this individual and this individual are both both heterozygous for the eye color allele, and they're both females because they have two X chromosomes. And then we see down here, these two are males, and they both have white eyes. So why is it that the female has, the, all the females have red eyes and all the males have white eyes. Well, oftentimes we're going to see that in sex-linked genes, the males are more likely to have a recessive phenotype. And that is because males are missing a lot of the genes because they have one X chromosome and one Y chromosome. So again, they have one set of genes on the X, and then they have the Y where they, they're missing a lot of the genes. And you compare that to females, where they have two full X chromosomes, females have two chances to get it right, so to speak two chances to have a dominant allele, whereas males only have one chance to get that dominant allele because they only have one X chromosome. So if you do the reciprocal cross where we had red-eyed females and white-eyed males, 
so the opposite of what we previously did, then we would get different results. Here we get a red-eyed female, which is a heterozygote, and then we have a white-eyed female, who is a homozygote. Uh, then down here we have a red-eyed male and a white-eyed male. So here again we have different results. We have 50% red-eyed females, 50% white-eyed females, and 50% red-eyed males, 50% white-eyed uh, sorry males. But again, overall, if you looked at the whole population, the males are going to be more likely to have white eyes than females. And so again, this is an example of gene linkage, but just a very specific example, which um, not only is uh, governed by these rules of the, all of the alleles or all of the genes on that one chromosome uh, being inherited together, but also the fact that the female chromosome is much longer, has many more nucleotides and genes than the male chromosome.